Week nine, problem nine. A long straight wire lies on a horizontal table and carries a current of two microamps. In a vacuum, a proton moves parallel to the wire, opposite the current, with a constant speed of this, three times 10 to the fourth meters per second, at a distance d above the wire. Ignoring the magnetic field due to Earth, determine the value of d. That must be a pretty big table. Okay, so I'm not really sure where we're going with this one, but I'm just gonna throw some stuff out there and see if it works. So, that is the worst wire ever. Oh, wire. Why are you get that way, wire? No, over here. Hmm? Where are you come? Okay, fine, you can be over there. That's gonna make you a little bit bigger though. Type, yep. Ooh, stroke. That's good. Ooh, yep. Thicken up that stroke a little bit. Purple or blue. There we go. All right. And then proton, as everyone knows, has to be red. Yeah, I'll make it this color. All right. So we got a proton up here, moving this direction at something times ten to the fourth, three times ten to the fourth, three times ten to the fourth meters per second. We know that we have 2 times 10 to the negative 6 amps moving in the same direction. And we need to find, all right, so let's see here. So this wire is going to be creating a magnetic field that is like this. And at this point up here, using the right hand rule, Hmm. Okay, it's going to come at, be coming out at us. Yep. Oh, yep, got it. So it's going to be coming out at us like this. Bam. All right. So now we're going to have a force on the proton. Force equals QV cross B. So to do the cross product here, we're going to have V cross B. Is that right? Hope, hope. V cross B. Hmm, that doesn't feel right. Opposite the current. Ah, you got me. You got me. All right, so I'm just going to do it this way. Hope oh, flip around. <laughs> oh, lost part of my arrow. There we go. Now I'll just redraw that guy. So the direction of this guy is that way. All right, that feels more reasonable. Should probably move him over a little bit too. There we go, bam. So now we have Q, V cross B, so V cross B. So force is going up. So we have a force magnetic going up. Use B for magnetic. I'm also gonna assume that we have a force gravity going down. It's not gonna be much because it's just a proton, but I'm guessing there's not gonna be a lot of um, Magnetic force coming up to you. So this would just be mass times gravity. So I'm going to say these are equal to each other. Maybe. Yes, I'm going to say confidently, though not actually very sure that this is what they're going for. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to say QV cross B. Um, since the direction and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other, cross product has to do with sine of theta. Theta in this case is 90 degrees, i.e. perpendicular, and therefore sine of theta will be one. So I can just ignore the cross product and call it, you know, multiplying, multiplying magnitudes. And then mass times gravity is going to be, uh, they're gonna be equal but opposite. So we're trying to find is, oh, the magnetic field. So we, need, so we know the magnetic field due to the wire, B, I'm gonna call it L for line, equals mu naught I over two pi R. I think that's right. Magnetic field from a wire. Infinite wire. I'm gonna click on images. Give me something useful. Mu naught I over two pi R. Bam, heck yeah, mu naught I. All right, so now I'm gonna write this all out and solve. Uh, ooh, orange, ooh. I don't like orange, but maybe just maybe just this once. Q V 
Nope, not going to do B. I'm going to do mu not i over 2 pi. Instead of r, I'm going to call it d. Yeah, because the problem, that's what they said. That's that's the distance from, no, not point. You'll figure it out, mass times gravity, right? And solving for d, we're going to have d equals q. Oh, I have to look up so many variables. I'm going to put a little vector up there. I don't mean it as a vector. It's just one of those things that if I put it on there, probably shouldn't do this on the test. Or if you do it on the test, or, you know, scratch through it later. Um, just so you don't get it confused with um, voltage. 2 pi mass gravity equals distance. Oh, I have equals distance. There we go. All right, so now I plug in some numbers. So Q, let's do proton. Charge of 1.67, 1.602. Mass is 1.67. 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. So I'm going to do 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. Okay, we're good. We got that. Then we have what? Three times to the negative. Three times 10 to the fourth. Three times 10 to the fourth. Then we have four pi times 10 to the negative seventh. Then we have current, which is two times 10 to the negative sixth. divided by 2 pi. No, oh, pi's cancel. That's good. 9.81 meters per second squared for gravity. And then 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27th? Negative uh, 27th. I think the mass of the Earth is like 10 to the 27th. That's how I remember it. Earth. This doesn't matter. I am not using your time effectively, but I don't care. I'm a brutal dictator. I'm going to. No, it's time to send the 24th. That was way off. Way off. All right. So now we need to plug all this together. Ugh, so much math. So much math. Uh, 1.6. Right, let's do some canceling. I'm going to change my pen color. Click. Blue. All right. Um, become six. I shouldn't do this, but I'm totally going to do that. So I do six divided by nine point eight one, which is kind of like point six, point six four. I don't know. I don't know. I forget another two times two. I forgot that two. So I'm going to change this guy to 12. There we go. 6 times 2. The rest of the thing canceled. Okay, so then here we'll have negative 7 and 4 will be negative 3. Negative 3 and negative 6 will be negative 9. Negative 9 and negative 19 will be negative 26. That's pretty negative. I try and be more positive. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? No. Yeah. Okay. So here we have 1 over 10 to the negative 1, which is the same as 10 on top, which is 120 divided by 10, which I think gives me 12. 12 meters? That seems awfully big. I think I've messed up something somewhere. Because this is asking for it in centimeters. And I gave an answer in tens of meters. So let's look at this guy one more time. So cancel again, but I'm going to cancel in green. So this guy and this guy check three so this guy and that guy gives us two three times two times two is twelve okay so we have ten to the negative nineteenth and ten to the negative fourth would be ten to the negative fifteenth 
negative 7, negative 15 will be negative 22. That'll be negative 28. Ah! That helps, okay. And here we have 10, and we have 10 to the negative 27, which equals, aha! Uh -huh. So this will be 1.2 times 10 to the negative 1, which will be 0 0.12. There we go. which I think, multiplied by 100, will give us 12 centimeters. Bam, that's much more like I wanted. So, bad math. All right, so then, right here, bum bum bum, final, 12 centimeters. Actually, you guys probably have different numbers, so it's not gonna be 12 centimeters for you, but it, it should be close. So, and that's how you do that one. You have a magnetic field created by the wire. The magnetic field from the wire creates an upward force on the proton that's moving opposite to the wire, which is going to cancel out gravity, which causes the proton to fly in a straight line. So that's where I'd go with this one, and that's how I approach it. You have your equation force equals QV cross B. Um, actually, every time I see that equation, I like to think of it more as E times Q plus QV cross B. That, and then you just know that you have a um, zero magnetic field. That, that way it keeps everything in mind. And it's easier to write too much and then cancel some of it out than to write only a small part and then not realize what you're forgetting. Uh, we know the magnetic field due to a wire is mu naught i over 2 pi r. Um, I like to remember that, that there's no pi's involved in things that are straight. Um, and then, so you see the 2 pi here, but that cancels out with the 4 pi times 10 to the negative seventh that's involved with the mu naught. And then, you know, a force due to gravity is mass times gravity. All right, that's all there is for problem nine. On.